if you swim through a kelp forest and the sun is coming through, it's, it's just like an, a fantastic tableau in front of you. I sometimes say to people, I was just born to do this because I, I can't imagine not doing it. Peter Maris is a lucky man. He's found his passion underwater and he's married to someone who shares it with him. Together, they operate Rendezvous Dive Adventures in Barclay Sound and are committed to doing their part to protect the environment that they love. Well, basically, we started the stewardship program and what we do is um, we gather data for scientists. So underwater surveys are one of the hardest uh, ways to get data for scientists. So with our video equipment, we can record behavior, we can count fish. Egg counts, surveys, anything that requires eyes underwater and rendezvous is there. But their eyes were also seeing something else, the debris and litter left behind by people. The first time it really became obvious to me how bad the situation could be, it made me want to apologize to the fish. I really, I felt so horrible. And from that moment on, I realized that there's, there's no way I'm gonna let this happen. The worst of what they saw underwater were nets, lost or discarded, made of unorganic material and designed to last decades. These phantom nets continue to kill sea life for as long as they're there, something that this couple couldn't accept. We developed a formal program with the help of the Department of Fisheries and Oceans and with the cooperation of the Gillnet Association to um, make sure that if a gillnetter, uh, gillnetter's net gets stuck, that we are the volunteer divers that go there on our own time, on our own money, and clean it up. Now, this may sound like a straightforward endeavor, but in fact, clearing nets is extremely dangerous. And Peter has written a 20-page manual creating procedures and protocols that are gaining international attention. Our gill net removal procedures are now considered by other organizations like CETUS in Victoria, State of Oregon is looking at it. So we hope that with this little example, we can get other areas to copy it and, and to, you know, basically get off your couch and do stuff if you see something's wrong. I mean, it's something you do as naturally as breathing. You see a situation, you do something about it, you act on it. I know it makes a difference because the gillnetters are buying into it. Um, we see people in other areas copying it. We see people writing me letters and saying, can you help us adapt it for our area? So, yes, I'm convinced it makes a difference and every single little action helps. Every action, every person responsible, you can help support the volunteer work that Kathy and Peter are doing by purchasing their DVD, Kelp and Critters. Proceeds are used to cover the costs of their stewardship program. In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmot.